Hey YouTube, Country Boy Prepper here. So I built a stand for my uh, Fresnel lens here. Uh, this is the big 60 inch Fresnel lens that I got in that TV in a previous video. If you hadn't seen that video, I'll annotate it here. You can go check it out. But um, I built a stand for it. I modeled this stand very closely after uh, another YouTuber, uh, a YouTuber's stand that he made. He made a video about it. And I'll annotate um, that video that I referenced uh, if you want to check it out uh, he has a very good video showing how he makes this stand and I didn't do it exactly the way he did but it's very similar and uh, it's pretty simple design I mean you can kind of look at it and see but if you want to build something like this uh, I'll annotate that video you can go check it out I forget the youtubers name but he's got a pretty nice channel and I'll put all the information for that in the uh, description below so anyway I've got this Fresnel lens mounted up here I can uh, you know swivel this thing however I need to um, I didn't use the adjustment uh, thing that he used on his um, his is a little bit nicer in that respect uh, you can see mine kind of spins freely if I pull these legs in it'll stay a little bit more steady but the winds blowing pretty hard out here hopefully you're not getting too much wind noise hey Luke come over here and hold this for a second so I can test it out Oh man, we've got clouds coming. I better hurry. Hold it right there. Anyway, I got a piece of wood right here. I'm going to kind of show you all the hot spot that I can get with this. Pretty good hot spot. It's not a laser beam death ray hot spot like I've seen in other YouTube videos where people have done this. This thing would be great for cooking. And if I get this thing perfect and hold it perfect here long enough, it will eventually char this wood. But it's going to take a very long time. I mean, I can take my hand, and normally I would not recommend doing this with a Fresnel lens, but I can take my hand and back it down in here and pass it through the, the really hot part. And it's hot. If I left my hand there, it would definitely burn my hand. But it's not, you know, it's not extremely crazy hot. Uh, not like some Fresnel lenses I've seen. So this uh, Fresnel lens came out of a Sony Wega TV. Uh, I did a video about it when I found it. Uh, you can look, take a look at the TV if you want to see that um, which TV it was. But it was a 2006 model, 60 inch. And everybody wants to know uh, how to find, you know, the the really good spot lenses and and what TVs they're in, and because you know everybody wants one of the really good ones. And from what I've researched and found, it seems to me, and this is just you know this is just me. Uh, speculate and I don't know this to be a fact but the older uh, early 90s uh, TVs seem to be the best and uh, the clearer screens like I've, I've got another one right here this is a mid 90s whoops mid 90s for no lens hold on to that Luke and you probably can't tell in the video but it's a little bit thinner and it's a little bit clearer than this one right here even though this one's smaller this one has a more focused beam Anyway, the mid-90s TVs, the ones that are made out of wood, uh, the more square ones and not the widescreen ones t seem to be uh, better. And also, just if you find one with a really clear lens and not a thick, milky, foggy one, uh, this one's real foggy and, and milky. I mean, you can tell that's my hand right here. It's just, it, it simply doesn't allow as much light through, I don't think. Um, but I haven't been able to find anybody on YouTube that, that just tells you outright this particular model this year, you know, these are the ones that are the best or anything like that. That's just information that's not out there. If anybody has any information like that or you've had good luck with a certain type of TV, uh, you know, certain model, certain year, whatever, put that in the comments below. I'm sure we'd all be interested in hearing that. Anyway, uh, I got lucky the other day and I found another uh, Fresnel lens here. This was in a, a Hitachi. Um, it was. It said 1992 to 1997, so it was older than this 2006 Sony. It is smaller, uh, but it's thinner and it's slightly more clear. And I've already tested this out, but I'll show y'all here in a minute. It, it it produces a more focused and hot uh, beam, but it's not a spot lens. It's a linear lens, what they call a linear lens. The focus point is a line about a four inch line instead of it being a single point so it's it's even though it's more intense than this it's not exactly what I'm hoping to find 
I'm going to keep looking until I find one. But um, anyway, I'm going to uh, hold this thing up and test it out and show you how intense this thing is. It's pretty impressive. I think my clouds have rolled in, so I may have to splice this together. So stick with me. All right, we're going to try to demonstrate for you here. Uh, Luke and Mariah are helping me out. But uh, you can see this hot spot is far more intense, much more focused. In fact, you really don't even want to look at it without sunglasses, and even then it's quite bright. But we're already getting smoke right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty windy. But it's a, it's a line. See how the, the charring is in a line? I don't know if the camera's going to show this or not, but it's a line. Now this one's so hot, I definitely wouldn't put my hand in front of it at all. It will burn you quick. You already have a black spot. Yeah, see it's charring good. Y'all try to hold it steady for a minute. See, we're burning that good now. Got good smoke. But it will not produce an outright flame. At least I haven't been able to so far. Not with just regular wood. A really good one will just burst into flames almost instantly. And those things are incredible. And that's what everybody's looking for. That's what everybody wants. But um, this, this uh, Fresnel lens is definitely better than the other one. Even though this one's smaller, I kind of wish I hadn't wasted the time and effort mounting that one in that stand. <laughs> uh, because uh, I would rather have this one, honestly. But uh, you can see that, that thing is just charring it good. Y'all move it away now. Let me show you. Move it away. Check that out. <laughs> that joker is hot. Real hot. One other thing I got out of that uh, TV with this lens in it was I got three of these lenses. And these are the projector lenses, I guess you'd call them. And these things are pretty neat also. And uh, let me just show you that real quick. This thing makes just a really tiny focused beam. And you could start a fire with this very easily. It's already flaming. Yeah, it, it'll actually produce a flame. A tiny flame, but it's a flame. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But... This thing's pretty neat too. Oh, well, get you fire if you yeah. have the right stuff. I mean, it's just charring that wood fast. But this thing's pretty neat also. I got three of these out of that TV. Anyway, uh, keep your eye out for these uh, TVs sitting on the side of the road. And if nobody's gotten the Fresnel lens out of them, you know, grab them. And be careful with them. Don't, don't, you know. Be careful. They, they, they can be dangerous. Uh, don't leave them sitting out in the sun for sure. If you're transporting them in your car, just be careful. Be wary. You don't want to burn your car down or burn your house down or anything crazy like that. And uh, certainly if you got one that's really powerful, do not put, put your hand or any part of your body in front of that beam. It will, it will absolutely scald you. I mean, you'll be in the hospital. It'll burn you quick. Uh, a really powerful one, like I said, if you haven't seen it before, just, just search for it on YouTube. Uh, they will literally instant flame on a piece of wood just like this. I mean, it instantly will cause a flame. And they, they say they're two to 3,000 degrees. I've seen pe people melt pennies and melt padlocks and melt all kinds of metal and glass and concrete. I've seen them melt concrete before <laughs> uh, with these things. Just a Fresnel lens. It's pretty incredible. But I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I may play with these things some more later on. Uh, I may build a stand for this one. Um, I may do some cooking. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if I do, I'll keep you all posted. Appreciate you all watching. You all have a great day.